Yo, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Planet Zoo, continuing, well, with our uh, franchise zoo. And we ended up buying the tapirs uh, in between episodes, so I think we're good to pop them out. Um, I'm wondering, some of these barriers look pretty bad. Like, that barrier's fine. I kind of feel like I also want to call the mechanic over here, just to get that taken care of. Because that looks like it's not in great condition. Um, let's see, you are at 70%. Once again, the downside of having glass. Um, like this one, I imagine it's just so much slower for there to be any issues. Um, but, like, when you have the ability to pop in, there's no reason to actually not do glass. And maybe, I mean, maybe we could actually, like, switch some of this. Like, for example, yeah, let's actually edit some of this. Resistance grade 2. So, that's actually the same resistance grade I'm now actually noticing. And the hedge is actually worse. Oh, alright. Alright. Um. So, it doesn't really matter then. Unless we put, like, a brick here. I think I'm just gonna leave the glass. Whatever. Whatever. Also, how are the flamingos beating down a glass wall? Like, come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like, like... Like, where's my, uh, 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 this, the, 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 the plexiglass. Come on. Give me some plexiglass already. All right, let's go ahead and work on our next barrier here. Uh, we're gonna do this one. Um, we're gonna do a nice little straight road here. Uh, this is gonna have to be a really tiny one. We might as well throw you down for now and then just move you. Yeah, I still feel like we just need to get better at doing that. Uh, you cannot do a curve, so we will do something like that. And then we will grab you, but then we will curve. Uh, no, 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 no. This one's supposed to be curved, Brian. Good job. And let's actually just bump it up. Do something along the lines like here, but then I'm gonna have to move you back to like that. Then we gotta really move you back. I mean, this is kind of like... I kind of feel like I'm doing Photoshop right now and using the pen tool to cut some stuff out. <laughs> That's what this kind of feels like. Uh, just, it's annoying. But, like, it really works if you do it right. Uh, okay, where were we going on this? All the way around? Yeah, we might as well. Might as well. Now, we do have a lot of trees in here, which are probably not going to be the right kind. But, whatever. And I think we do just connect up. Something like that will be okay? Yeah, I think that's fine. And I'm good with you being right there. Yo, I just, I want to connect another one. Okay, kind of come over here. That's fine. How much of a hill do we want, or how much of the hill do we want to go over? Something like this, I think, is okay. Um, but, but, let's just go ahead and move you. I kind of feel like, let's just get... I don't think section length really has any bit of a difference. This is a huge freaking cage again, Brian. God! Why do I have so many issues when it comes to making large cages? I have a problem. I like big cages and I cannot lie, okay? I just... I don't... I don't quite understand my desire for these just freaking gigantic cages. Panel too long. Well, then... Make you shorter. Make you shorter. And then we'll connect up like there. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. Okay. So then we need the entrance for the staff, which isn't a problem because now the tapirs, people can't go in, right? Uh, guess nope. All right, good. And they also said they're shy. We kind of like the idea of maybe digging them out. Yeah, I actually like that idea. Let's dig them out, a path, a uh, kind of cliff area here. Let's kind of dig down a little bit. I want this up a little bit, the size is fine. And then let's kind of dig them a little bit of a area here. Uh, and then they can totally hang out in there. And I think that's acceptable. Uh, so we need to go here, facilities. Um, they do want water too, remember? So... Water should be good no matter where we put it. I think they wanted water, right? Uh, that's this one. Yeah, they want just a little bit of water. 
And it's not going to be wherever we put it. So we're probably going to want to put it like in here. So like dig me out just like a nice little water path here. Something like that. And let's just do some calm water. Uh, that's probably a little too much. <laughs> Keep digging down. Keep digging down. Keep digging down, my friend. And then let's just do flatten. Now, I don't know if depth is a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I'm sure if it's too deep, that actually is probably a problem. Uh, we want to go a little higher than that, Brian. Yeah, that's definitely too high. Is that acceptable? I think so. Yeah. I think that's good. Th we might want a little more water than that. I think we want a little more water. I think something more like that is acceptable height. Not that one. Not that one. I want like right here on this thing. Right there. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. I think this is fine. Uh, let's go to terrain, and then I want to smooth you over here. Preferably. And then kind of get a nice little smooth going around here on the edges. Can they enter the water? I think so. I don't think that's like too far of a, a drop for them. But I think that's acceptable. Okay. So then we wanted to come back here. We wanted to add in our habitat gate. We will just put you like right here because there's no reason to put it anywhere else. Uh, and then we can just do a staff path that will just connect up. Like let's do here. Let's do here. And then let's do something like that. And I'm gonna do something like this. And I'm just gonna throw another um, keeper hut over here. We'll make it somewhat straight. Let's do that. If it actually wants to connect up straight. Sure. What? What? Come on. Come on. Come on. Connect. There you go. That's so ugly. <laughs> That's so ugly. Let's just make it straight. Let's just start here. And go like that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So, just trying to get another keeper hut out there just so we can, you know, kind of have easy access here for the tapirs. Let's go habitat. Let's get rid of you. Let's go to species, tapir. Um, we want the extra large bedding. Uh, let's do large because that extra large is going to kind of dig out. Yeah, let's do like medium. Then we can do like extra large here. See, the problem is the extra large is like cutting off the top. Yeah, sure, whatever. That'll be fine. Uh, we can put a ball out here. We can put a sprinkler. They like all of those. And then we will put some water and some food. So we'll do some water here. We will do some water there. Then let's do medium food trough because once again, there's only two of these guys. We'll do food there, and then we'll do, like, food there. Um, and we'll want tip jars everywhere. And I kind of dig this. I kind of dig this. You're, like, walking through just taking a look at the animals. You got the bongos right there. You got the tapirs over there. Then you got the crocs over here. Although, admittedly, can't really see the crocs because they're a little far away. But, eh, eh. How big, how many crocs can we actually have? You know, I don't know if I've actually thought about this. Because if we could get more than like, like get five or six crocs in there, I bet they can have a pretty big group. No, they can't. Dang it. <laughs> uh, well, that sucks. Because if we could have a lot of crocs, that would be really nice. Because um, then we could just fill this area in. You're a little tall. I would like to lower you a little bit, I think. Something like that. Nah, I don't like that. Let's let's move you this way. Yeah, that's easier. Yeah, that's easier. Okay, that'll work. So let's go drop off our tapirs and go from there. We bought the mail with cash, and then we bought you with uh uh uh, uh whatever these are called conservation credits. So click move. Remember, they only like to be in groups of tubes. So come on. 
Come on, baby. Thank you. I don't know why that's so difficult. And then we want to move you. And you're going to go there. Sweet. All right, let's unpause the game. Let's let the game run. Let's wait for our tapiers. Um, these should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. I think we. I think the pink means we already said hi. Yeah, the pink means we already said hi. We got a new quest because we filled in one of our other quests. Trade Center is like in there, I think, so shouldn't be too hard for us to get these guys popping out. Um, we want... Ah, hold up. We want some more tipping jars, please. Now... You know... You know... You know, I'm gonna actually switch up these barriers. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up these barriers. Because... There's no reason to have this as... Because then people might try looking and getting view from there. And you can't really see anything, so we're gonna get rated bad for the view, number one. Um, number two, it's just gonna speed up... Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, it's just going to speed up the decay of the fence itself. So I think that's acceptable. All right, I want to see my tape here. Hello, buddy. You're cute. Cool. Hi. Uh, so let's see. What are you looking at? Terrain is inappropriate because we have too much long grass, like normal. You need a lot more soil as well. Okay, we can fix that fairly easily. Uh, soil, light. Let's go a little bit larger and definitely 100% here. So we're good here. Just get rid of that long grass. That's probably enough soil. We can do a little bit of rocks over here. Ah, I don't like those rocks. Let's do like rocks like here. And then we need some short grass. All right. Terrain's fine now. Coverage. We have a lot of incorrect trees in here. And by a lot, we have a few. So let's go throw these trees out of here. Get them up on the hill. Get them up on the hill. Uh, that's the fence, Brian. Get you up here. Okay. So what do you want? You want African? No, no, no. You want... Wait, we still have another train here. That's not in there. That's technically on the pathway. <laughs> uh, put you here. I don't think that affects the Crocs. It does, actually. Okay, well, guess what? You're going to go up here, too. There you go. Now the Crocs are happy again. Crocs are happy again. Okay. Mr. Tapier, buddy. Let's see, what do you want? So, you want nature, clear all. You want South Central America with the biome as tropical, temperate, and grassland. Okay. Let's see what you really want here. What about the big trees? Yeah, they still love those. Everyone loves these kapok trees or whatever they're called. I mean, I like them too. They're nice and big. And then can we get some... Kind of want um, some bushes. But, you know, these trees kind of work from a bush standpoint. Dude, I kind of dig that tree, too. That's eh, a freaking awesome-looking tree, man. Yeah, I can dig this. I can dig this. And so then we got some bushes. And I like the idea of just kind of, like, putting some bushes around. Because we've not really had an opportunity to do that yet. Just, like, give me some bushes. Trying to make this just a little prettier. Uh, rocks... Meh. So rocks aren't really particularly good in this terrain. Or at least they don't match up. I kind of feel like I'm going to keep finishing the bushes. Yeah. Give me more of those bushes. Which, what were they called? Where, where'd they go? What? Not those. There they are. Yeah, we'll just kind of flesh you out like that. Eh, sure. 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 
So he's at 51% enrichment's okay. The dude disappeared because the other one kind of hit him when he came in. Adult population's good. Uh, fertility is like 50% on each, so I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. We need some food enrichment, but we got some other enrichment, so that's good. Dude, I love these guys. Wait, what are you in a box for? Why were you in a box? I didn't put you in a box. Oh, maybe because I took that tree? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Habitat cleanliness is still in under a Z. Hey, I need a keeper over here, please. Please clean this habitat again. I don't know who you guys are waving at. Had some kids. That's good. It's the same one we're currently doing. Diseased animal. Oh, no! Ah! Call that. Call that. Incubating. Uh, so, here's the biggest issue. We are gonna need... I need another vet. Uh, so give me another staff. Give me another veterinarian. Let's go here. Then... I need vet research. And we need to go switch off this. You know what? Give me another vet. Screw it. We're, we're making money. We're making money. Staff. Give me another vet. One of these vets is gonna do the diseased. Uh, campy. Campy, campy, campy. So, vet research. Campy, 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 campy. Classic swine flu. Campy, campy. Why can't these be in alphabetic order? Hepatitis A? Oh my gosh. Uh, yo, I don't see campy in here. Huh? Oh, there it is. Active disease. Well, there you go. So, Dewey, congratulations. You're gonna go research that. Do we have the ability to research that? That's the question. I actually am gonna say no. I don't think we have another research station. So, I am gonna go throw down another facility. Staff facilities, quarantine, staff room, keeper hut, vet surgery, research center. I'm gonna throw you there. And let's get this going. Let's let's pay attention to this, because I've not I had to deal with diseases yet at all. So I need you to go and pick up this uh, sick one, please. It's this one right here. Alright. Where are you going? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. I'm assuming you're going to the quarantine. It's my assumption. I don't know that there's a way to heal. No, you're not going to the quarantine. Maybe surgery? Veteran surgery seven, okay. I wonder what this disease does. Decreases the likelihood of them catching it. Reduces disease recovery time. Oh, okay. So essentially, we don't need to research it to heal them. What's going to happen is they're essentially just going to sit here in the veteran surgery and then just, like, heal. Yeah. So you're basically just going to sit here and heal. Okay. Money is an issue. I'm over the moon with the job. I'm glad you like your job. Glad you like it. Okay. I mean, that's interesting. Good to know. Um, how's our cleanliness on this cage? Please tell me it got fixed. Yeah, it got cleaned. Now, I'm pretty sure the keepers are the ones that clean, right? Pretty sure they're still the ones that clean. So, we just need to keep popping out more dudes. Uh, why are you boxed? I have no idea. I have no idea. You're supposed to be going and having woohoo with each other. So, I can have more. That research is complete. Let's see, what did we pop out? Uh, Brazilian wandering spider. That's fine. Um, you can go here to the death adder. The Brazilian wandering spider, if I remember correctly, is this one right here. No, nope, that's the death adder. This one? No, nope, this one? It's one of these. There you go. So that means we can now add in this, bump up the enrichment just a little bit, make them just a teeny bit happier. Okay. Pop back to our tapirs. 
Yeah, see, no one's hanging out over here still. We got some people over here. I'm too hot. I wish I could get a food shop. This area is a little bland. Okay. Maybe we want to get some food going over here. Congratulations, you discover three items over one species. Hey, it's a bongos. Let's go bongo. Bongo baby. Um, are all of our animals level one? It appears that that is the case. No, no, no. Tapir. Ah, not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. You're busy. Um, so you go do the tapir. Okay. I, I'm not at myself. So what do we want to see? We want to see the bongo. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we actually got anything new. Bongo species. Bongo. Yes, we did. Grazing feeding ball. Put that over here. Yeah, that's actually the first thing. I'm wondering. I wish there was a way to search and see what species can use that feeding ball. Oh, you know, I can. Buffalo, bison, camel, wildebeest, bongo, zebra, antelope, antelope, gazelle. So now, now, no one else. <laughs> I was like, I wish there was an option to do exactly what we just did. Okay, that works. Uh, all right, so we want some food and drink over here, I think, because people are getting a little... Also, how's this area bland? Piss off. Piss off. Let's actually build something. Yeah, let's manually build something. So guest facilities. Finance. We could do an ATM. I think we sold our ATM because we were getting kind of annoyed because it kept breaking. We can do information over here as well. I think... Let's start here. Let's straighten you up. Okay. And then we're going to do food stall as well. Chief beef. Beautiful. And then drink. Gulpy! <laughs> and I think that's good. And we have toilets right around the corner. So I think we're good on that. All right. So then let's come here to construction. And this is going to be one larger building. So pop over to walls. We got the breeze block. The concrete. We got the glass, the modern glass. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, maybe, maybe. We got the wood in. I really like the wood here, that's pretty. You know what, let's do wood. Let's do the modern wood, but then let's merge it with something else. Metal? Nah, we gotta do bricks. We gotta do bricks. New world architecture. Dude, I like that. Dude, I like some of this decor. Yeah, I'm digging some of this decor. I definitely don't like that plain wood. That's just ugly. We need to build more in this game. We really do. So, I want... Let's do the breeze block. How far over do we want to go is the question. You know what? You know what? Let's actually do this a little different. Give me grid size 2. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. We've not done anything like this before. I mean, to be honest, we've not really done much of anything in this game before. But <laughs> yeah, I like this. Do we want to pop this side up too? Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. So we're doing the bricks for kind of like the lower level, and then we're gonna do the more expensive fancy wood above it. Is kind of the goal here. So... I don't think we need to go any larger, because we did go out. So I think that's gonna kind of work for us. So then I want two wall, uh, two meters. We're gonna do something like this. This. Yeah, I think this is gonna be okay. How does that look? Interesting. I do feel like we need to go out on the other sides. Yeah, I do feel like... I want to go wider with this. Um, 
So something along the lines here with that there, and then delete as well, delete, and duplicate, and then we were gonna take you there, to there, to there, and then you can come over here with that there. Okay, and then, nope, wrong one. Uh, delete, and by delete, I mean duplicate. Then you're popping like that, here, here, and here, and here. I hate the double on the wall. Like, that looks kind of stupid, but not really much I can do about it. Yeah, it's going to happen no matter what. I can dig that. I can dig that. We can do some stuff with that. I'm not sure. Um, I actually feel like the front face needs to be... All wood. Yeah, I don't think I want bricks on the front face. I think these need to be just like this. And I feel like the inside ones also should be straight wood. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, give me the full size. Go like that, go like that, go like that, and then I forgot to delete that one, and go like that. And then we have the bricks around the outside. Man, I kind of don't even like those bricks. I really don't. I really don't. Are we going to leave the bricks? I think we are. I think we are. Just give a little variation, but I think once again, maybe the bricks should only be on the back side. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the bricks only on the back side. I don't like that at all. What about actually doing that and then doing this? You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. So then that would actually, what about, okay, 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 okay. What about just, just experimenting here? Nah, it wouldn't work that way, will it? Okay, so then we have to do breeze block there but didn't this do it the other way where that's double the length huh how do we get it so that the wood pops out and the wood's full i don't know that's a really good question rotate okay <laughs> why does that make sense I don't know. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, but yeah, okay. Uh, let's look at roofs then. And what we're looking for, because we got these kind of corner pieces. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to definitely want some interesting ones. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if this is actually going to work, if we have the roof that's going to fit perfectly. Because technically I need a three-sided roof, and I don't think I have a three-sided roof. I think every roof is basically two-sided, which is going to be a bit of an issue for us, but we could make it work. Yo, I kind of really like that dark roof. Yeah, I really like that dark roof. Whoopsie. And then let's rotate you. Let's rotate you. We can do that. Yeah, this is what we're talking about here. This is what we're talking about here. And get just some really uniqueness popping out through here. Then you need to come like that. You need to come like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So it was this one. Ah, crap. I had it. I love when you have it right, to, right away and then you screw it up. Okay, so then what are we going to put here is the question. Um, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Can I get, like, a two-sided one? Like, if I had this, but it was only two-sided as opposed to three-sided, that would work. Or, uh, sorry, just one side, where it doesn't have the arch on the other way. Yeah, it's called this one, Brian. But the problem is that leaves the hole in the middle, which I don't want. I mean, maybe. But, mm, 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 I guess. I guess. 
I don't know. Definitely not that one. Not that one. Yeah, once again, if it would just be one way, but it's like, it's not straight. That's the problem. And we did some fun stuff here. Well, okay, what about doing this then? Delete that, delete that, and then what about like this here? Uh, what was that tall one I was just looking at? Was it this one? And doing this instead. Yeah, that's, that's the goal right here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And it gives us a nice little shape in the middle. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, we're going to have to do some overhangs and stuff like that because that just looks hot trash right now. Um, do we actually want to use this metal roof? Eh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Go flesh. Flush, rather. Uh, along the outside, along the outside. Go all the way through. Do the back side as well. Screw that one up. Pop you over here. And that'll work for now. Um, then we probably want to do some pillars and stuff like that. I'm not opposed to doing the roof trim here again, but I don't think I want that yet. Uh, wall decorations. I don't have any posters, do I? We don't have signs in this game like we did in the previous one. Crap. Hmm. Interesting. Because I was actually thinking about putting the signs, uh, the advertisement signs they had from the previous game, which I really, really like. Um, unfortunately, we don't have those in this game, Brian. Crap. Crap. So maybe we just do... We could do the New World signs, which fit really well here. See, there's four of them, and we actually have four signs. I still need to make a Jeff, don't I? Yeah, I still need to make a Jeff. All right, let's uh, uh, duplicate you, move you over here. We'll do the bear, except. Then we're going to do the buffalo, except. I need to move that buffalo because that's not straight. And then you're going to be the wolf. Boom. And the buffalo needs to move over here. And that's good. Um, we're going to need something behind it, though, because that's kind of ugly, just to be honest. Um, props, maybe. Let's see, what else do we have? New World Fence. Mm, maybe. That might actually look okay. Yeah, that might actually look okay if we could get it looking. If I could get it straight. Come on, game. <laughs> uh. Alright, screw it. Let's do it this way. I'm trying to just get it to snap without having to do this. Actually, hold up, Brian. Hold up, Brian. Let's not do it that way. Let's not do it that way. Because we want the 45 degrees. So we'll put it there. Then we do want angle snap. There we go. And then let's move you up. Yeah, this will actually work fine. Uh, so what I need then is I need you to flip upside down. Good. Uh, I'm just now noticing this reindeer is not straight. <laughs> Uh, okay, then we're gonna accept that then we're going to duplicate this and Then we're gonna flip you around and Move you down and Now we have basically our face on the wall and then you're gonna be here straight and What is this fence is this straight? I think something like that Wait what? Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a different one for sure. That is frustrating. Yeah, that's gonna be frustrating indeed to duplicate this multiple times. Okay, well, I guess that works. Uh, I don't understand why the angle's all weird like this, but okay. You know, this is totally acceptable. This is not weird at all and hard and annoying. Okay, cool. Pop out like that, pop out like that, something like that, and then kind of come like right there, close enough. Um, you are not straight again. Great. And then you're gonna pop in and, oh, we were so close with our guest. We were so close with our guest. Guess, 
guest. Something like that. Okay. So then you can move ever so slightly that way. You definitely need to move that way. Okay, that'll work. So what are we looking for now? I'm looking for some framing for these buildings. Um, that's wall decorations, columns. Would a brick column work? I think the brick would actually work, but I kind of want the small one. Is that wood? Yeah, that's wood. I want the brick. Why is this all weird? Why? Ugh. All right, so if we're gonna make this work, we need to do it this way. Then we have to go blank, blank. Then we're gonna have to move you. And we wanna put you in the corner. It's cutting through the roof just a little bit. I think something like that, and then let's like put you right here. Let's see how this works. You're right on the edge. That's acceptable. I don't know if we're gonna like this or not. I don't hate it. Yeah, I definitely don't hate it. I don't know if I love it though. Um, let's go ahead and do it this way because it's gonna be a little quicker duplicating two versus doing every one. Um, we'll do that. And then we will do that over here. And that just kind of frames them in a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Then let's do our awnings. Just a regular awning. Planet Zoo shoop, Shop Canopy. Sure. Wait, what? Just do like a single shop canopy for each one. Apparently, we hadn't unlocked all the different ones for all the different uh, shops yet. Or I'm looking in the wrong spot. That is acceptable. Backside, we have that. Ugh, that's kind of ugly now that I look at this. Um, what about doing this here? Nah, that doesn't help at all. What about doing this? Definitely want that there, for sure. Put you, like, here. I'm gonna put you under here. And then we kind of did like, about like right there. Get a little more framing. I hate that. Absolutely hate that with a passion. What can we do here? Square beam. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna have to be. Um, except, it's the wrong shape. Again. How do we how do we end up with two of these? Screw that one up. Okay, X, you're going here, and then you're gonna go down, so it's under here, and then duplicate, move you all the way over here. Okay, I think we got ourselves a shop that is acceptable. You should be popping out just a little bit, I think. Eh, you're kind of actually pretty flush. Flush. Why do I keep seeing flesh instead of flush? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. It's different. Not my favorite. Nah, not really my favorite, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. You know what we could do and what we have a whole bunch of? Um, let's keep editing. We want the not special effects, not arch shapes, centerpieces. Yeah, no, not yet. Um, where are my planters? There we go. These are humongous. I think I am going to do the planters. And then let's put you like that. Let's get you down. Let's take you over here. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then we're just going to duplicate you a couple times, and we're just going to fill these with plants, and then that's going to help mask some of the ugliness of the building with some fresh, pretty plants that are always going to be alive, because, you know. So, what's the easiest way to find this? Well, let's X everything out. Then we want gardening, I'm assuming. African daisies? Sure. Sure. And we don't want the angle snap. Something like that. 
And these are just gonna be perfect. Uh, let's duplicate this one, because I don't know if the angle is perfectly straight, and I don't really feel like... There we go. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and open it up. So now we got some more food over here, man. Now we got some more food over here, so people can go eat over here. Hopefully that's gonna draw some more people. You know what the one thing we don't have? We don't have benches anywhere. Yeah, so we don't really have benches for people to, like, sit and eat. Which, I suppose is maybe necessary. We could do some benches there. I think, let's go ahead and grab a pathway here. Let's increase this path size. We're just going to do something like that and just kind of make a little seating area for people over here. So we're going to want some bins. We can do some seating areas like that. Let's just get some more trees popping out over here. You know, just kind of covering people while they sit over there. We could actually do like an overhang and stuff like that, but you know, whatever for now. The trees will be fine. Trees will be fine. We maybe want to do this a little differently eventually, but I think that's acceptable. I thought that was actually one of our workers, and I was like, yo, what are you sitting there like watching for? We really need to start working on education, man. Really want to work on education, but whatever. Okay, so first things first. Although we've been paused, so never mind. I was going to say, I want to see how our flamingo is doing, but it's been a while. Uh, guests. Looks busy, I'll try somewhere else. There's a lot of damaged things around here. There's not much scenery. Well, yeah, part of that was just money, man. We're kind of poor. Um, give me another security guard. And I don't know what's damaged. I don't know if they're fixing the damaged things. Because I haven't really seen too many damaged stuff. I really hadn't. So I just don't know if my mechanics have been fixing them. There's one. Replace. How dare you? Who was it? Who was it? We hadn't had any protesters in forever. Which is just great. Just great. Just great. Yo, are my crocodiles ever going to have babies? <clears throat> I would really like my crocodiles to have some babies. You're 31 years old. Man, I don't think they live that long, right? You're 28. Fertility's 83%. I mean, we got a 55%. That seems pretty dang good if you ask me, man. That seems pretty freaking good if you ask me. So I'm wondering what we're waiting on. Um, now, the other thing is I don't want to look at Bongo, but Bongo's fine. Uh, compare mates. I just want to see what you look like. You have a 0%. Oh, you're already pregnant. Nice! Heck yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I don't see where it says you're up. Oh, November year 23. Dude, I love it. I just put you out there and you guys are ready to, are already having babies. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's compare mates here. 57%. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I'll compare you one more time. Mostly because I want to see about you. 72%. We're going to have babies. We're definitely going to have babies. And then, are you guys likely to have more babies? He only has a 33 fertility. 69%. That's pretty dang good. Yeah. I feel like we're definitely going to have more babies. I definitely feel like we're going to have more babies. Uh, if only you guys would have more babies. I don't really know how to speed this up. I mean, 56%. I don't know if there's anything you can do to, like, increase their hormones so that they're more likely to, you know, have fun together. I don't know if that's a possibility. I really don't. We've already said hi to you. Facilities without power. Oh, snappers. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Uh, okay, so in that case, we want to go construction, no, 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 here it is, facilities, do utilities, do transformer. It's 
kind of like hide it back here. And then give me a pathway. Uh, definitely don't want the giant path. There you go. And are we going to leave it literally ugly? Yes. <laughs> okay. Those guys have power now. So we're at 41 mints. Probably need to wrap this up here before too long, but that's okay. Yeah, I kind of dig in these cages. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of digging how this building came out now. The more I look at it, I like it. I like it. I like it. This whole area over here went from absolutely nothing but really cool looking curving path to, okay, this is actually pretty decent now. Oh, yeah, we also have really good views up here now, too, over our gallery house, which, I mean, the gallery owl cage is perfect. <sighs> so then the question is, do we want to cut this in half and maybe put some hippos out here so that it's a little smaller? Do we want to try it again? Maybe these guys are going to be a little more accepting. I mean, this is giant for what they need. Um, the problem is I don't need hip or I can't afford hippos. There's no way in heck I'm going to be able to afford hippos. Um... Hi, I don't want tape ears. Go away. Filter, please. I was a young want hog. Uh, cash list stains? Filter. Uh, give me the max. Let's see what we got. Warthog, antelope, zebras, ostrich. Don't know what you are. I really wish there was a search for everything but these. Or like, hey, ooh, Komodo dragons. Yo. Yo. I think we got our next animal. So we have Komodo dragons because we pre-ordered the game. So not me, uh, not everyone has Komodo dragons, which means it might be kind of hard to get Komodo dragons. That should be K, Brian. G H I J K. They might be a little rare then. One? Oh my gosh. Well, we're never selling our P-Falls. <laughs> actually, probably just release to the wild. Probably make more money that way. Oh, these are actually pretty cheap. Did we just buy a female or a male? I think we bought a male. Or a female. Yeah, that's what I meant. So, you're eight years old. I think Komodo dragons live a long time. Hi, I'm like clicking you. God, I loved it. Oh, 0% fertility. Hell no. 50% for fertility. I will take the 67%. I don't care about the immunity. Okay. So now the question is with Komodos. And they might actually like more than one or more than two people. We'll see. Uh, K, 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 K. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Nope, they're one to two. Feeding order based on size. They actually don't have sexual maturity till nine. Interesting. But they live a while, right? 26. Eh, not as long as I thought. They actually want a bigger area than most of our crocodiles. That's interesting. Huh. Huh. No height, and they don't care about water. And they recommend grade 2 boundary. I love how it's, like, grade 2, and I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm gonna put grade 1. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the crocodiles probably want, like, a grade 3 or something like that. And I'm like, eh, screw that. <laughs> We're just gonna do glass the whole way, because I could care less. Saltwater, what was theirs? Grade two. Yeah, and we have a grade one. Awesome. Awesome. So where do we want the Komodos then? I don't know that's big enough. How big is this cage? 600, and that's with a lot of water. So that's probably about 400. And then the Komodos needed 600, right? This might not be big enough. That might not be big enough. You know what would be great is if it wasn't nighttime so I could actually see some things. Maybe we put it back here? But, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Or, once again, we carve this in half and then, you know. Uh, maybe just carve out just a little bit and let the Komodos pop out over here. That might be is not a bad idea. Like, maybe something like right here. And then give the Komodos this area. Get rid of the water there. I could dig that. Yeah, I could dig that. That's probably what we'll end up doing. We could also put the Komodos up here. The problem is um, people have a bad vision. 
like negative impact, even though it's underground, it's still going to apply even if we move and put something up here. So we kind of don't want anything up on that hill. Yeah, we kind of don't want anything up on that hill. So our zoo is still pretty small, but I think it's coming along. Um, this eventually needs to be probably just one big uh, eating area. Like, I probably want to do something similar to, like, the building we just did. Embrace. I saw death. I saw embrace death, and I was like, what? Um, but we probably want a superstar comes along. What? 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 Uh, achievement. Have an animal reach five-star animal rating. Whoa. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, we hadn't said hi to you yet. Uh, who just had babies? Who just had babies? Was it the centipede? Was that our five-star rating? Do these guys even have a rating? I don't think those guys even have ratings. Right? Do they have ratings? You're only one star. Well, we could do this. We can look here and we can go star. Ah, uh, wrong button. Look at the animals. No, no, no. Where's our star rating? Do we not have star ratings on the animals? Can we not see it here? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we do by appeal. Who has the most appeal? Gariel. But you're five years old. Interesting. I don't think either of those are five star. So I have no idea why we got the achievement. I have no idea. Maybe it's one of these other animals. Just checking. We're going to have to sell off some animals, I'm sure. Death Adder. Uh, looks like we lost one of the females because I'm pretty sure. Nah, no, nah, it was two, wasn't it? Yeah, it was two. You guys like a lot here. We'll get rid of you guys. And we'll do something like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just leave three for now. You guys only like three, remember? So we're going to do that, that, and that. I don't know how we're going to find out who was five star. The thing is, we don't really want to get rid of the five star one, just to be honest. Because that's going to draw more guests, probably pay me more, but maybe it was you. Or it's Pablo. I think it's Pablo. I think it's Pablo. Okay, where was the Brazil wandering spider? There he is. Okay. I think it was Pablo. I think it was Pablo. Let's move Pablo back. Congratulations, Pablo. You're now going to exist again. Because I want to keep popping out gold babies. And then you're going back here. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Um... I can get rid of you. I think that was fine. I don't think they're all five star. No, 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 no. And then who was the one I just moved back? Was it Bianca? You're golden, but you don't have any animal rating. But they don't have animal rating. I'm confused by this. Pablo. Hey, he has no animal rating. Huh. So it couldn't be any of these guys then, right? Is this going to work? Oh my God, it works. Beautiful. Beautiful. Best thing they patched. So, who just had kids then? Who just had kids? One, two, three, four, five. So, it's still the same group here. You know what? Maybe we do it this way. Let's look by maturity. Let's look at the newest babies. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know why we got the achievement. Who knows? But uh, could it have been because of what we bought, actually? No? Neither of them look like five stars. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.